Hey everybody, welcome back to the Lightburn for Galvo Crash Course. Last episode, we figured out how to find our focal distance for our lens, and we did it all in Lightburn. It was a pretty quick and easy episode. It's extremely important that you follow that guide and find your best focal distance before watching this video and trying to do the things that come after it. If your focal distance is not set correctly, nothing that we do from here on out is going to be accurate. And there's going to be a lot of measuring, uh, a lot of calculating and things like that. So it's all going to be based on whether or not we're actually in focus. So if you haven't, please take a moment, go back an episode and watch the episode about finding your focal distance, then come back here. The purpose of today's episode, episode nine, for those of you who are counting, is to kind of prepare you for what is coming up next. In our device settings here, early on in the series, I said that we would come back to things like core file, our red dot settings, and our jump and delay settings. And today is that day. We're coming back, we're ready to do it. These are three very, very big topics. And I've already done fully featured episodes before the crash course was even a thought in my mind. So we're going to reuse those because they're extremely thorough episodes. But I wanted to give you a little heads up about how that's going to relate to our series here before you get started. You want to do these in a specific order. The very first thing you're going to do is take care of your lens corrections. This is going to fix any warp or distortion caused by the fact that you're using a circular lens and projecting a square workspace. In order to effectively align our red dot or set our timing settings, we need to make sure that we've eliminated any distortion first. So you're going to do your lens corrections first. After that, we're going to jump over and do laser timing. Laser timing is gonna come second. In order, again, to align our red dot appropriately, we need to make sure that our laser timing is set up correctly. After you've taken care of those two behemoths, then we can go ahead and get our red dot aligned with our actual fiber laser and make sure that our digital workspace is aligned with our physical one. The only special note out of these three that I want to make is that at the end of the core file video, we only show how to apply it in EasyCAD. I'm uploading an episode right now that will show you how to save it somewhere safe and apply it in Lightburn. So make sure that after you do your core file, you come back to the official playlist and catch that episode. And I think that's all I wanted to talk about, guys. So I just wanted to cover that really quick, give you some heads up about how I was implementing these three episodes. These are the things that you want to do next now that you have your focal distance set up. And these can be a little tedious and you're going to have to do a little bit of learning. But once you are through them, your laser is going to work better than it's ever worked before. It's absolutely worth the time that you're going to put into it. So good luck, guys. You know we're here if you need help. And I will see you in a couple episodes. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of the Lightburn for Galvo Crash Course. If you got value out of this one, don't forget to smash the like button, let everybody else know the content is good, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified the next time we add an episode to the Crash Course. If you need help with anything at all, there are links to our absolutely 100% free Discord and Facebook group down in the description, right next to the link to the Laser Master Academy, the number one way to support the channel. We absolutely love what we do here, guys, teaching you how to use your laser engraving machines, and we want to keep doing that. Every episode that we upload to the YouTube channel for everyone for free is thanks to our members over at the Laser Master Academy. If you want to sign up to support the channel, you can find out more over at masters.lasereverything.net. It starts at eight bucks a month. It comes with a bunch of bonus goodies for signing up and it's an awesome community over there. So I hope to see you over there soon. That's all I've got for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching again and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.